Good morning, everyone. So today, no challenge from me. Instead, I want to talk a little bit about the very cool Robot Makers Smart Boat Challenge. So this challenge, you're going to have to create a smart boat using the robotic set that you have. So I'm going to talk about a few things. The first thing that I want to tell everyone is that the smart boat that you make does not need to float. Water is not good for electronics and we don't want you to damage your uh, robotic sets. With that said, if some of you do decide to do a robot that can float and you're willing to take the risk, just be very, very careful. Uh, here are some things that you might uh, be interested in on how to make it move on the water. I highly recommend you to use the non-floating option though because you can just use the wheels that come with your set. We're also going to talk a little bit about how to control your smart boat and uh, what enhancements you can put on it. So first thing, floating. So you can use either paddle wheels, uh, propellers or even air screws. So we'll take a look at the first example that I've got here. So this is my design uh, that uses the Lego Boost set. Just going to jump straight in to show you the mechanism. As you can see, this uses paddle wheels. It can go forward, it can go back, it can turn using paddle wheels. Right now, the next example is not by me. Is by a very known uh, well is by, is by a very known is by a very well known YouTuber called Serial. So this uses propellers. So I'll give it a minute for the video to come up. The links to all these videos will be in the description. Uh, you can look at it uh, after. Uh, this is over. Okay, skip the ad. And let's just jump straight in here. You can see it in action. Right? So you'll notice the blue air tanks that he has at the back of his boat. That is because uh, the 42015 hulls do not provide sufficient buoyancy. Right, so you can use screws. And here is another example from me. This uses model airplane propellers. I got these from a model airplane shop. So this uses the EV3 brake. I'm using mineral water bottles as flotation devices. Okay. Now, once again, you don't have to do a floating boat. You can do a non-floating one, as shown here. So I built this uh, just after LEGO produced the uh, Steamboat Willy set. You can see it's using wheels to go on the ground. Now another example uh, that I can give you is that you can build the educator robot that uh, comes with the LEGO Mindstorms education set and just add some parts to make it look like a boat because the way it moves is kind of like uh, uh, the uh, steamboat wheelie steamboat wheelie that you saw just now it kind of moves like that so how are you going to control your boat once it's on the water uh, you can use the boost app if i were to go back to my earlier example Just going to jump ahead to the app here.
You can see it's a very simple program, but it's more than enough. So the joystick on the Boost app, you can use it to control the movement of the boat. You can also use the infrared remote as shown here. But one word of warning when you're using the infrared remote, it does not work well in sunlight. The program that I'm using here is exactly the same program that you use for Tracker. Just uh, with a few uh, modifications. Right? Another option that you might want to try is to use the sensors so your boat will be autonomous. It will move and navigate by itself. One of the things I can think of is just to use the proximity sensor to detect whether there's any obstacles and make the boat turn. Or you can even try using the gyro to make it go a straight path. So you can try that if you like. Remember, it doesn't need to float. You can have it on the ground as well. Enhancements. What else are you going to do to make your boat special? In this example, uh, the boat can actually pick up garbage. So you'll notice in the front of a boat, there's a scoop. Let's just jump ahead. Can put items in the scoop and then it puts it in the trash bin. So the deadline for this challenge is the 30th of June. You can post to any one of the Robot Makers Facebook groups, communities. When you post, put uh, a tag Smart Boat Contest in your post. Tell us uh, what the Smart Boat functions are. Share photos and video of your creation. Video is good because we can see exactly how your boat works. You can use any parts that you have, you can use any sets that you have, but it must contain the Mindstorms, We Do, Boost, Powered Up, Control Plus, or Spike Prime, Intelligent Brakes. Floating boat is not necessary. If you're underage, ask your parent to post on your behalf. The winner will be selected by the Robot Makers community, and the winner will receive this very cool Top Gear 42109 set. So I hope uh, this gives you some inspiration and tips on entering the contest. I wish all of the contestants and participants good luck. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.